What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Super duper excited to have you guys here. Welcome to the Chai Marshall channel. Now, if it's your first time, thank you so much for popping through, dropping through. Hey, for hanging out with us for a little while. Say what? What? Anyway, thank you for being here. Thank you for all the returning guests. I love you guys. I so appreciate you. All right, now let's go ahead and jump right into this word, though. Okay, so the tie decker for this week is going to be don't be deceived by time, but be received by time. I'm going to say that one more again. One more again. Say that word, girl. Don't be deceived by time, but be received by time, okay? So let's go ahead and jump right into okay, it. Okay, this is going to be short, sweet, and straight to the point. Every season of your life has a rhythm. It has a flow. It could be going like this or it could be a little slower, like this, or it could be moving like this, okay? Every season has a specific rhythm. God has a rhythm to your life for the things that he needs you to get done, the things that he needs you to align in, the doors that he needs you to walk through, right? So you want time to be your friend. You wanna respect time, and when you respect time, time is your friend. Time is on your side. Time is working with you and not against you. But when you disrespect time, now what do I mean by that? When you are not in alignment, when you are going against the grain, you're not in purpose, when you're not following the instructions of God, when you're not following the leading of God, but you're being led by your flesh instead of your spirit. You know when you ain't doing right. That's what I'm talking about. When you're out of the flow, when you're out of God's rhythm, time becomes your enemy and it starts to work against you because see, now you're no longer investing and utilizing time, but you're wasting time, okay? So you want time to be your friend, not your enemy, which means you need to respect time and not disrespect time, okay? Second point I wanna make, you wanna make sure that you're with your tribe of people. You guys are parallel with your dreams, your goals, your passions, the things that you wanna do and accomplish in life. They get you, they understand you, you speak the same spiritual language, you ain't got to explain nothing because they like, yeah, girl, I get you. I know you ain't gotta go no further because I'm going through that same thing. But you wanna make sure you're with your tribe of people because your tribe of people are going to be flowing in that same rhythm that you're in. Because when you're, you're in your tribe, it's like you all have the same heartbeat. You all have the same mindset. It may not be identical or exactly the same because ain't nobody going to do it like you do it. Only you can do it the way that you do it. But you're in the same rhythm. You're in the same flow. You're in the same current. You don't want God to have you at a faster pace and you're trying to swim at that pace in the current that's going super duper slow and moving in slow motion. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Because then you're gonna be operating in the spirit of procrastination, stagnation, and molasses. And you don't want that. Don't nobody want that. You wanna stay in alignment. So you want to utilize time. You want to make sure that you are investing your time wisely. Because guess what? Whatever you invest in, that's what return you gonna get. It ain't just about the stocks, but it's about your life. And so when you invest your time, which you can't get back, you wanna make sure that you are going to get returns that are going to benefit you later on, that are going to add to your life later on that are going to enhance you that are in alignment and congruent with what God is calling you to do in your purpose you want to make sure that those returns are adding to your purpose enhancing your purpose cultivating your purpose and cultivating your life okay because anybody got time to be wasting time I'm just saying so I want you to start looking at time differently I want you to start looking at time as your friend and when you start looking at time as your friend you realize you have a lot of it because you are utilizing it with wisdom so you want to use wisdom in this season because you want to invest wisely so you can get that bomb return later on on purpose in purpose and on purpose you want to return on your purpose okay, okay guys so that is the tie nugget for this week thank you so much for tuning in thank you for joining me share this video subscribe continue the journey with me i would love to have you with me Put some comments below. Let's talk about some stuff. Tell me some things that y'all want to talk about. This is a community. I want us to help each other, encourage each other, inspire one another. Just so you know, you guys inspire me as well. You guys inspire me when you leave comments, when you share, all of these things. In conclusion, guys, give yourself permission to move in time, on time. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time.